Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting system of equations. We're looking for real solutions. At this point, you can go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay. Now we have five variables and only two equations. And we're looking for real solutions. So that's the only thing we have. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we're just going to look at this system of equations because we don't have enough equations and we're not necessarily looking for integer solutions. It's not a Diophantine system. So we have to use some extra tools, right? And that will be inequalities. So we're going to be taking advantage of inequalities. And what type of inequality can we apply here? Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to exclude the E from this equation and just focus on A, B, C, D. So what type of inequality can we use? We can use the Cauchy-Schwarz, okay? And the Cauchy-Schwarz basically tells us in this equation that we can just go ahead and write down a plus b plus c plus d squared is going to be less than or equal to. Now, I'm going to be using instead of x, y, z, w that are multiplied by a, b, c, d, I'm just going to be using 1. So on the right hand side, I'm going to be getting, so let me write down the original inequality first so you can, you can get a better idea. So this is the inequality I'm using, ax plus by plus cz plus dw squared is going to be less than or equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus w squared okay so that's the type of inequality we're going to use but in this case x y z and w are all going to equal one okay in this case okay then from here we're going to be getting on the right hand side since x y z w are all one we're going to be getting first the sum of the squares which we can use and then we're going to get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 4. Awesome. Now, this is equal to 4, so we got a nice inequality. Let's rewrite it. a plus b plus c plus d quantity squared is less than or equal to 4 times the quantity a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. Okay. Now, do we have the sum and the sum of squares? Well, kind of. We can. What we can do is... Actually, we can just go ahead and isolate a plus b plus c plus d, put the e on the right hand side. So a plus b plus c plus d is going to equal 10 minus e. Okay. And the sum of the squares is just going to equal 20 minus e squared. Okay. So if you go ahead and do those replacements, we basically get an inequality in a single variable. And this is very easy to solve. Well, Worst case scenario, it's going to be a quadratic, right? Okay, let's go ahead and expand it and simplify. 100 minus 20e plus e squared less than or equal to 80 minus 4e squared. All right, let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. 5e squared minus 20e plus 20 is less than or equal to 0. I can just go ahead and divide both sides by 5. And that's going to give me e squared minus 4e plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. And let's see what this means. When is this going to be less than or equal to 0? Only at one point. Because this is equal to e minus 2 quantity squared. And as you know, a square can never be negative. So the only option that's left for us is basically 0. So e minus 2 has to be 0, which means e has to equal 2. What does that have to do with all the other variables though, right? Well, we just randomly picked E, right? So we excluded the E, we got an inequality, and we solved for E. We could do the same thing for D, we could do the same thing for all the variables, we would still be getting the same answer. So basically, our solution as an ordered quintuple is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. In other words, all these variables are going to equal 2, and that's going to be the only real solution to this system of equations. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.